hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes so everything is alleged son it's not in the fair act use it's in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all um i want to talk about um finesse two times y'all now i told you all a while back that finesse two times um you know from what i've heard okay from people around him in his circle and stuff like that they said that you know he's cut from a different cloth um he's okay you know like a lot of people when they first get out they're okay because they've been in there for years and they haven't been doing no street pharmacy stuff um even though they got a background in doing it they haven't been doing it and when you're first signing them everything is all good for a little while but then you know when they get to hanging around um you know bad influences um hanging around people that's doing street pharmacy stuff and doing a lot of sippy sipping you know they end up falling back into that lifestyle like they used to be which is why they go back and forth to jail all the time now finesse two times has admitted himself that ever since he was 15 he has been going back and forth to prison okay and i do believe that that has a lot to do with him you know going back into doing you know street pharmacy stuff as far as being a user or sipping too much okay because if you have a problem and you're around that stuff nine times out of ten you're going to start back doing it you know to the extreme and then you're going to either be back in jail again um and you can't make money if you you know sipping too much and you didn't flew the coop you can't make money like that okay um, he just put up a post not too long ago, and he said that the feds is watching him, y'all. I do believe that the pressure is getting to him for um, being affiliated with mob ties, and uh, I do believe he didn't flew the coop, y'all. And when I say flew, fly the coop, you know, he didn't fell off the bandwagon to the point where, you know, he's sipping too much, the pressure is getting to him, or he's either back doing street pharmacy stuff, Okay. And I know people are going to be like, oh, well, he probably have to do drops and stuff like that. But a lot of people have to do drops and um, they still, you know, fall off the bandwagon, y'all. Okay. Um, when you got money like this, you can pay people to pass them drops. Okay, y'all. For you. And all that stuff. I didn't see that. And I'm not even around, you know, guys like this, you know, with this type of money. But I've seen people do that anyway. Okay. Um... People are saying that, you know, on top of him canceling a lot of shows because of the fact of takeoff being taken out and Mob Ties being a part of it, allegedly, um, um, Duke 93rd being taken out and, you know, possibility that Mob Ties them was a part of that as well, allegedly, okay? Um, I do believe that, you know, the pressure is starting to get to him. He thought that he can kind of separate himself a little bit from them, still wear their chain and wrap them. But he feel as if, you know, his music is so good or whatever, whatever, people like him so much that they'll uh, separate him from mob ties and still like him. Well, that's not the case now, y'all. Okay. Now, it's something new that just popped up. I think it happened in Florida, but I'm not 100% sure. But uh, I do believe it's Florida that he had a show in Florida. And when he went to the show, this is the one that everybody is talking about. You know, he owes some money. Okay, this is what I'm hearing, that he owes some money. Now, this is what they're saying, that he was booked, he was paid for a show. And, you know, he didn't do the show. And I guess he didn't give people their money back, y'all. So, is the pressure mounting up on him right now? Um, he got on the post and he told his side of the story. Now, his side of the story is saying that, yes, he was paid up front. And he also said that um, when he got there, him and his security wasn't treated right. And that um, they were searching, trying to search the security and search them coming into, 
you know, the facility or whatever. And his security and him was feeling some type of way. Like, you know, you know, the thing that gets me is who, whomever is booking him for shows, they should be booking him where they have open arms for them to come in. But when they are greeted at the door with people that don't like them or got a problem with them or, you know, trying to search your security, then you have to wonder about the person that's booking him for shows, okay? Um, nine times out of ten, if a celebrity show up somewhere and they have security, most likely that security is going to have weapons on them so that they can protect them. Other than that, what's the purpose of them being their security, y'all? That doesn't make sense. So um, he went to social media and tried to correct the fact that, yes, he was paid up front. And he said that, you know, once they started searching him, they left because they was feeling some type of energy there that they wasn't really, you know, didn't feel right going. They weren't comfortable going in there to do a show and they don't have their, you know, weapons on them. Okay. I do believe that. The tension is mounting up right now. And being involved involved with mob ties is making him lose money right now, y'all. And he's the type of person, you know, from my understanding of people around him, they say that he don't take a lot of mess off nobody and he speaks his mind. Now, the question is, is he going to, you know, when mob ties them start pressuring him for their money, upfront money and stuff and, you know, um, money back yo them is he going to be the type of person that's gonna you know bring it to the table that you all are the reason why you know um i'm having problem booking shows okay shows are being canceled because of threats now they are showing up to places and security wants them unarmed inside of the facility and if somebody wants you unarmed inside of the facility, they don't want you to be able to protect yourself while you're in there, okay? So, um, you have to wonder, y'all, is, is, is they trying to take finesse two times out, y'all, okay? For you to be booked somewhere and they don't want you to have security. They don't want your security to be able to protect you. You have to wonder, are they trying to line up finesse two times right now and can he feel this okay um he's doing lives and he's doing a uh, post and he's slurring while he's talking he sounds as if you know the pressure is getting to him y'all and he's getting tired of being tired to mob ties without really saying it okay y'all i'm gonna let y'all listen to a little bit of what he's saying but um if people paid for him to do a show and he left for whatever reason that the facility did not want him to, um, him and his security in there without, you know, searching them or whatever. I still feel like he has to pay people their money back, that book that paid for to see him. He has to give that money back. And he can't, you know, just sit up there and make a video saying, oh, this is how I was treated, blah, 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 but you got your money. You have to give the people their money back if you did not do that show. So that's how I just feel about it. It seems like he's starting to leave a trail of people that don't like him around. And um, that's not good. It really isn't good, y'all. And I don't care how good of a rapper you are, when you're tied to street, you know, associates, and they're out here doing all kind of stuff and leaving a trail for you to, you know, walk behind them and then, you know, everybody looking at you some type of way because you're affiliated with them and you rocking, you know, mob task chains and this and that and that and this, then, you know, um, like I said, people are saying that he's not going to be able to handle that well, especially after he falls back into, you know, some old habits. And that's what it seems like. I want y'all to listen to him right now. And he sounds as if, you know, he's slurring his words, what he's saying. Um, he's talking about the feds watching him. He's talking about, you know, um, how they treated them when he showed up to, you know, the facility. And they left with the money, with the bag. I want y'all to listen to this. Just a little bit of it. I get to the front door. Nigga, y'all talking about petting me and all my men down and... Then your security act, acting 
he's super tough. He extra tough. You know what I'm saying? He try to come through my security, my security. You ain't gonna help him all along. No, this ain't that. What he's supposed to do, he did what he's supposed to do. Like any other man would, nigga. You break his security, nigga. You see your security, watch out, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, respectfully, though. You know, niggas got the, you know what I'm saying, doing all that weak ass shit. So I jump back in. And I got this footage, well, this um, recording from Trap Tune TV. So if you want to hear the whole thing, go check out Trap Tune TV. And I'm just going to play a little bit of just how he's, you know, talking. And he, I'm telling y'all the pressure is mounting with this guy right here. And like I told y'all before, um, Finesse Two Times and Megan Thee Stallion is coming up past tense. And I want y'all to know, you know, when they get to a point where they cannot, you know, produce money for the labels that they didn't sign with then, you know, you have to look at the fact that a lot of these guys are worth more gone than being here. Um, Finesse Two Times, a lot of shows are getting canceled. Finesse Two Times is taking money now and not doing the show. Okay, this is messy, y'all. It's getting messy. Now, is it his fault? I don't think so. It's Mata's fault because they're, you know, doing all kind of stupid stuff, and they're messing up the careers of the people that they're signing. This is what's going on right now. Um, a lot of people felt like he should ne never sign with Mob Ties. He should not never sign with Moneybag Yo. But I'm going to tell y'all this. Moneybag Yo and them is connected to Mob Ties and them, y'all. Okay? It's the same thing with um, Snooty Wow. When they had this big meeting, then all of a sudden, you know, Snooty Wow gets called to come to help somebody and then he's left in a ditch i want y'all to pay these patterns some attention i want you to pay these patterns some attention the fact that um big scar was just taken out okay um contrary to what other people believe because i know that people were putting up videos talking about everything is not a conspiracy this and that, that and this this guy was known to do street pharmacy stuff and that's what happened to him. But um, ask yourself this question. He's been doing the street pharmacy stuff for a very long time, Big Scar. So why in the world would he do something on the on those dates? You know, and somebody had to give him those bad street pharmacy stuff, okay? Why did they give it to him on those dates? So they would line up with this whole Illuminati conspiracy mess, okay, y'all? So think about that. You know, I know we got people like Sadie Nash that, you know, telling his subscribers that, you know, you know, this person was doing these type of things, though. This was going to probably bound to happen or whatever anyway. But what, why would it happen on a particular date? OK, if it wasn't more to it, you know, I, 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 I watched Sadie Nash for a little while and I like the way he presents certain things, but I'm going to say this. What turned me off about him was every time you get on his video, you know, he's sending shout outs to the Roach Man, um, AK, and, you know, 40 Cent. And I was like, really? You know, you're a hole in those, you know, peanuts really, 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 really tight on your page over there for somebody that just gets wasted and pretty much cusses out all of their subscribers this is who every time he get on there he represents and i was like i can't with this guy even though i like some of the stuff he put out i can't and i noticed that after i unsubscribe he start coming for people that do that talk about you know um how all of these labels are tied together and he try to act like oh Everybody keeps saying this is conspiracy, this and conspiracy, that. You know, he's, you know, hell-bent on that now. So, Seti Nash seems like he's a part of the problem out here. When you're sitting up here defending certain people, and it is what it is. Now, we're going to get back to this for a minute, but I want to go to Big Scar for a second, y'all. I want to go to Big Scar for one second, all right? 
Um, Big Scar was taken out at his girlfriend's house, y'all. Okay? And my understanding is his girlfriend is tied to a Gucci man as well. Okay? Um, I just find it odd that the girlfriend that he passed away at her house, um, look at her neck, y'all. I find it odd that she's repping the one eye symbolism and inside of a um, pyramid, okay? Y'all, these are no coincidences, all right? So, Seti Nash and everybody else can look at stuff whatever way they want to look at it, okay? Ain't nobody knocking the way he feel about stuff, so why are you knocking the way other people feel about stuff? This is not normal, y'all, okay? For somebody to be taken out, given, you know, a little something too much or something laced with something at her house, and she has all this crap on her neck. That's no coincidence. This 22, 22, 22 stuff, this is no coincidence, okay? A lot of people are doing stuff so they can, you know, climb that ladder for fame and fortune. And um, this is how they do it. They go up another notch in their career when they play a part in certain things. Okay, y'all? So that's all I'm going to say for right now about that. You know, people can say what they want to, but, you know, the numbers and everything can't be a coincidence all the time. Okay? So that's my, you know, um, that's what all I have to say about Seti Nash. Okay, y'all? And his bull crap over there on his page. Thinking that, Oh, everything is conspiracy. Now, all of these things is not no coincidence of how people are being taken out. Okay? It's just like the whole Whitney thing. I guess he think the whole Whitney Houston thing was a conspiracy too. Somebody that don't take baths, but she's found in the tub face down. Come on now. Okay? So, you know, some of the stuff that Steady Nash say is weird to me. That he don't see how things are being lined up and the only thing that you have to say is you talk about other bloggers that is bringing these things up you know i i don't get it y'all i don't get it anyway that that was my main reason that i had to disconnect from his page is because of the fact that he don't see he see the all of these things as being a just a coincidence okay no way these rappers are being targeted okay and they know their backgrounds. They know what um, sends them over the edge. They know if they have any kind of bad habits. And everybody knows that Finesse Two Times has bad habits. Everybody knows that Big Scar had bad habits. So if you find a person that's doing the street pharmacy stuff, only thing you have to do is slip them something that um, takes them out. And the first thing that you're going to say, people are going to say, is the same thing they're saying about Big Scar. That, you know, it was just an accidental, you know, him taking him on his own self out, really, accidentally. And this is the same thing that they'll say about this one right here, too. Okay? Because he has a history of sipping too much. He has a history of doing street pharmacy stuff too much. And every single time, Y'all know, y'all know people like this as well. Every single time that person, you know, is not doing anything, he's thriving. Okay. But soon as he started hanging around the wrong people, and I know people in my own family that do this, start hanging around with the wrong people, wrong females, wrong guys and stuff, and they party and doing the stuff you used to do, you end up starting back doing it again. Okay. And it gets worse and worse and worse. And this is why I was telling y'all that he's slurring. A lot of things he's saying is very, he seemed like he's under the influence at the moment while he's saying this, okay? And he's a prime candidate that would be something just like Big Scar. They will say that he got a hold to some bad stuff or whatever or took too much of this or that, and this is what happened. And then cha-ching, Money bag yo them gets a check. Cha ching, mob ties get a check. Because if you cannot book shows and you're going to shows and you're not even performing because you're not feeling comfortable because they want to unarm your security, 
then that's a problem. You can't make that bag back that you was presented with. You can't make it back for them. And see, this is where you come in on the problems at, y'all. Okay? So, um, people can say what they want to. Okay? Keep holding them peanuts over there of AK-40 cent. And, you know, um, missing the point of what people are really saying. All of these labels that I've been telling you all about are in cahoot. My personal opinion, they're in cahoot. And just like I told you with Snooty Wow, they had a meeting right before he was taken out. And then he was taken out. And as you can see, look at his case just popped up after some people just got arrested. That's connected to, you know, CMG them and monetizing them. Okay, y'all, do y'all see how to, it's doing a domino effect of other cases. I've been saying this for the longest. Now, let me let y'all let listen to a little bit more. And if you want to go look at the rest of it, go to Trap Tune TV. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, y'all get y'all shit together. I'm finna pull off. Because y'all got to understand. I'm a young black American, African American, man. I done spent 15 years of my life, man, behind bars. I'm 30 years old, man. They ain't trying to do nothing but fry me, man. The face that y'all looking at, the nigga that y'all talking to on this live right now, they want to fry me. I'm one of the niggas they want to fry. I done already been on their radar right for years. I done got away with so much. Y'all, y'all don't see me run with a click of niggas. He said, y'all don't see me run with a click of niggas. Now, what is mob ties, y'all? If that's not a click of niggas, I don't know what is. Mob ties is a click. You can tell he's talking off the side of his neck because, you know, He's talking about he's been under the feds radar for years. So why would you jump out of prison, out of a federal prison, and hook up with some more criminals like mob tasks that's always in the middle of bodies dropping and some kind of illegal stuff going on? And you feel like they're coming at you for no reason? This is who you clicked up with. This is who you associated and tied with now. Not only them, you associated yourself with Moneybag Yo and them. They associated with CMG, who allegedly just took out Young Dolph. So if anybody put you under the radar of the feds, it was you finesse two times. Because people try to tell you, you know, something. And he get offended when you say something about, you know, just trying to look out for him. He gets offended. He really does. And he defends his little clique. And now he's saying he don't run with a clique. You're associated with a, one of the biggest cliques out here. And the clique that you're associated with just took out a, a major celebrity. So if anything, if anybody is watching you, you did this yourself. And he is sipping while he's talking, and he looks like he's, you know, didn't had one, y'all. And I guess he want people to feel sorry for him now. But this is what you ask for. And you can tell he don't like that it's messing up his money right now, y'all. Y'all don't see me run. Y'all don't see me. Y'all see me rep for this guy. I rep the fire because it's in my heart. Rich the PJ Mark. You know what I'm saying? You know? I don't run with no click of niggas. He keeps saying he don't run with a click of people. But y'all, he's getting, you can, he's clearly on here. And I'm going to jump off real quick because I don't want this to be a really long video. You can go over there and watch the rest of it. But, um, he keeps saying he don't run with a click of guys. And, you are running with a click. Your whole record label is everybody that you's attached to is clicks. And they're all in the middle of 
allegedly Rico's right now. Undercover Rico's is going on with CMG now. Undercover Rico's is going on with Maltas now right now. And this is what you affiliated yourself with. So you can hold your head all you want to. But you put yourself in this position. Now people is wanting their money back. Give them their money back. Finesse. Give those people that paid for a ticket to see you, give them their money back. Because you did not do that show. And that's between the people who's booking these shows for you, your the people that you signed with, and the company that did not want you there. Because if somebody pays you up front, you know, it makes no sense that they get you there and they mean mugging you and your security. It seems as if, you know, somebody might got a bag on their head, y'all. And um, finesse two times could possibly be a target right now, y'all. Because other than that, it makes no sense. When, when a venue wants to book you, that means they got to like you. If they want to book you to come to their place. But for them to greet him at the door with searching him and his bodyguards that's more to that than meets the eye y'all so i'm just saying y'all um finesse y'all keep an eye on this one because they could be trying to line mr finesse up y'all and of course mob ties and them gonna try to act like they don't have nothing to do with it but mob ties needs to pay out right now y'all they need to pay out. If you're running around here robbing people, jewelers and stuff like that, if you got this clique of people from Fifth Ward that you're trying to look out for and they all helping set up people and rob them and this and that and that, and that they thirsty for some money. And I just told, I showed y'all something yesterday that not only the, the artists, but the, the members of the group, like the band members and all this stuff, they got them in insurance policies. So if they got them in a $12.5 million insurance policy, what do you think that they have on these artists? They can give him, they can give him a million dollars, a million dollars to sign with them. But then they could turn around and put him in a $15, $20 million insurance policy. Now, ask yourself this question. Do you want to wait for him with all these canceled shows and all of this crap that's going on? Are you going to wait for him? To scrape up this money to pay you your back, your money back, or do you even really want your money back because you want to keep his masters? So you don't really want your money back in the first place because he got a lot of music out, and then if something happens, you get paid off of these streaming and all this other stuff. Okay, he blows up after he's gone, even more. So ask yourself this question: Are you going to wait on him to pay you back the million dollars that you signed him with, or? Do you take him out and you keep $20 million? Okay, y'all? Is y'all peeping this? This is why I say you got to watch who you sign with. Because if you sign with somebody, they should already have an understanding with the venues that, you know, my people are coming there. They are armed for protection. And, you know, I'm hoping that you all have a facility that the people that's coming to see him you, they're the ones that should be getting, you know, checked to see if they have a weapon, not the artists. You should be checking to see, not their security, you should be checking to see if the people that's coming to see him has, um, you know, they should be searched to make sure they don't have weapons to do anything to him, not the other way around, y'all. So when a venue is doing that, that tells you off top, it's something ain't right about this okay y'all it's some kind of setup okay either they gonna do it at one of these venues try to take him out okay because of the security stuff don't seem right or they're gonna do it through his dealer y'all it's gonna be either or and it's gonna be the same crap if they do it do it through the dealer it's gonna be the same crap as big scar okay this is how they're doing it if they don't do it through the dealer, then it's going to be some type of, you know, weapon involved. And this is how that they get them out the way. Do it look like he's happy, y'all? 
Do it look like it to y'all? Because it don't look like he's happy to me. It looks like he's tired. They're working the crap out of him. And as much as he's trying to put into this, it's not working out. Because you take the time to fly or drive from city to state to state and city to city. And you get there and you don't end up doing a show over something this dumb. This takes a lot out of you. So, y'all, stay tuned. Because it's definitely some stuff that's a brewing. Okay, y'all? Anyway, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.